Well, I think because it's Earth Day, it's significant that we recognize, first of all, whose land we're on, traditional territory. So one of the primary things I would like people to recognize or remember or, or come out of this um, session knowing is that it's always important to think about the historical impacts of colonization and that there were people living here tens of thousands of years before before this kind of current structure came about. And so that was one of the main things. The other thing is that um, we still have a really strong connection to the land and everything that we do impacts it. And so that was a, another kind of connection to the mountain up there and to start thinking about their own practices on an individual level, but more so import more importantly on a systemic level. So we've seen kind of a crisis develop very quickly that we no longer have in many regions access to clean water. And we no longer have access to harvesting and hunting um, traditional foods. And we no longer have access to just kind of ceremonial spaces in our land. So I think um, understanding that and realizing that the regulation of waterways and water bodies has also been historically linked to the regulation of human bodies. So to kind of combine that um, understanding uh, is a way to undo it. So we have to understand the problem first before we can start addressing it. I would just like to thank um, Pacific Lutheran University for the invitation to be here. And I really appreciate the hospitality and just the openness of students to be willing to, to learn and to make a commitment to social and environmental justice and to support Indigenous rights and sovereignty.